As the world ramps up vaccination against COVID-19, the equitable distribution of vaccines has become one of the most talked about issues. Thailand is fighting COVID by trying to provide as many jabs as possible for both Thais and foreigners residing in the kingdom. However, lately, Thailand has received donated vaccines from other nations thanks to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for successfully engaging in strategic foreign policy and vaccine diplomacy with our close allies. Newsline's Tolam Hassan Arula speaks to Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesman Mr. Tani Sangrat on this. Tani, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Since the new waves of COVID-19, we're seeing a new trend of vaccine diplomacy efforts. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has been playing a part in talks with vaccine producers and also governments. So please tell us about your roles in actually helping secure additional vaccines for Thailand. Well, it is the role of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Um, the Deputy Prime Minister Don Paramatwinai has instructed all of the regional departments and all of our embassies and consulates around the world to uh, leave no stone unturned in seeking and, and procuring uh, vaccines um, from different countries and, uh, and companies around the world. Uh, and we have a number of results that uh, you might have seen in the news. Uh, we, we have had uh, the donation, uh, some of the cooperation that uh, have been provided by, uh, by uh, many countries. We have seen that the U.S. with 1.5 million dose and one additional million dose uh, announced by uh, Senator Tammy. Uh, Duckworth, mm -hmm. and also we have uh, already delivered um, AstraZeneca from, from Japan as, as well, uh, and, and also uh, uh, some from the uh, uh, medicines and, and the medical equipment uh, from Switzerland as well. And uh, these are just uh, uh, some examples of the vaccines that we have procured. So a lot has been done. First. Now, looking into the coming weeks, will there be any new deals, donations or negotiations planned? Yes, uh, the talks are ongoing uh, with our ambassadors uh, uh, in, in different countries. Uh, we are now currently talking with the uh, Republic of Korea, we are talking with India, uh, Russia, and a number of other countries that uh, we are uh, following up uh, on, uh, on procuring uh, additional vaccines and cooperation. What about COVAX? I believe that we've joined COVAX, although uh, just recently, but is there going to be any vaccines coming through that channel? Yes, uh, Ministry of Public Health and together with our Department of International Organizations uh, within the Ministry of Foreign Affairs are working mm -hmm. on our uh, uh, joining uh, the COVAX program as well. So that, that's all in the works. Okay. Now, since the mass inoculation, I believe that some 29 million doses have been administered so far. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs is also helping uh, expats, foreigners living in Thailand, to get vaccinated. Uh, can you give us the progress about uh, the program or the, the website that was launched earlier? What has the response been like? Yes, the, uh, we, the Department of Consular Affairs, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, has set up the ExpatVac uh, uh, website. It's called uh, expatvac.consular.go.th that we have invited the foreign residents uh, who are living in Thailand to, uh, to register uh, for their vaccines through, through the data system. And so far, over 54,000 foreign residents in Thailand have registered uh, through, through the expat vac. And we have uh, sent over 22,000 list of names um, to the Department of Disease Control, Ministry of Public Health. We work closely together. And that uh, Department of Disease Control will, they have already um, uh, inform hospitals and, uh, pu and public health offices around the country mm -hmm. to start uh, inoculating uh, foreign residents all over the country. And through my uh, Twitter, and I have been uh, communicating with many uh, foreign residents around the country, and uh, a number of them have already received um, the vaccines, but a number of them are still waiting, and they are wondering that they are in the priority groups, according to the age groups. But they're still waiting. There are some, some are still waiting, and now for the, for the uh, appointment, SMS or email, when you uh, register for the data uh, expert fact, you will get almost right away the reply. And then saying that uh, in, a, in a short time, um, the system will, uh, the hospital or the public health uh, office in your province will uh, send you an S SMS or email giving you the appointment to come and uh, receive the vaccine. 
you have to reply within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that's the system. So some, uh, it's all in the process uh, since, been re since we started the program in, on August 1st. And now we are rolling out the vaccine uh, with the uh, great cooperation with the Department of uh, Disease Control. Mm -hmm. But uh, priority is given to the risk groups. Yes. yes. But what about those who don't fall under the, the conditions? Well, uh, we, we, uh, we, we invite all of the foreign residents, regardless of their age, to, to register. Mm -hmm. But when we roll out the vaccines, the priority groups are those who are in the older age groups, uh, from the 74 uh, and, and older, mm -hmm. 60 to, uh, to, to 74, and so on, down, down the age groups. Another group is the group with uh, seven health conditions, mm -hmm. diabetes and other, and other health conditions. They are also another uh, priority group, and also uh, women with uh, pregnancies that uh, have uh, registered. So these are the three main priority groups that we will uh, uh, roll out the, uh, the vaccine first. And then the Department of Disease Control and the health offices, hospitals around the country will go down the list um, in, in that priority, in that order. Because a lot of unvaccinated uh, foreigners, at least some friends I have, are wondering, mm -hmm. they know that I'm coming here to see you, mm -hmm. uh, when can they expect their first shot? You know, all of them are kind of uh, a little bit nervous because you're still seeing a surge in COVID cases, although the numbers have dwindled in the past few days. Yes, I know that a number of them have already received their vaccines, but a number of them are still waiting. And I know that uh, we, I have residents, foreign residents in Chiang Mai, in Kanchanaburi, in uh, Nakhon Rajasima, or Pachok Kirikan, they have... Uh, uh, received uh, some, some of the vaccine. Some are still waiting. Yes, so I've been uh, co coordinating closely Working with, really uh, hard with every the day. Department of Disease Control. <laughs> <laughs> so we have one more question for you uh, about students, adolescents. Now, what are the chances of the under 18s without any underlying health conditions to get their jabs? For the foreign residents? For any uh, foreign residents, probably for Thais too. Uh, for, well, for the foreign residents who are younger, uh, uh, in the younger age group, they are still. Uh, I think they have to wait in line for the for the for the uh, priority order that I have mentioned. Yes. But for Thai students, um, uh, the vaccines will be provided by Ministry of Public Health uh, now. But currently, it's still um, above 18 that you will be able to get the the vaccine only if you are sick or you have conditions. Is that correct? Yes. For the healthy yes. ones, right. we still have to wait. Right. Right. All right. Finally, do you have any messages you want to tell to the audience? Well, well, I want to share with our foreign residents uh, in Thailand that uh, we are working uh, closely uh, with the Department of Disease Control, Ministry of Public Health, to try to expedite uh, uh, the vaccines and the, the provision of vaccines around the country. I know that some of you are still waiting, some of you are, are still in the priority groups, so uh, we want to make it as quickly as possible. But those who have not registered can still register uh, on, on the data uh, on the website. All right, so vaccination is key to control the outbreak. If you haven't registered, as Kuntani has mentioned, please go to the website, expatvac.consular.go.th. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank Take you for having me.